Hi everyone, today we're going to teach you how to make this delicious Masaman curry chicken at home. It's very easy and you can do it too. Now my wife doesn't feel like being on camera today, so I'm gonna be the one teaching you. Okay guys, here's a pro tip. Before you start making your Masaman chicken, go ahead and start steaming your jasmine rice in your rice steamer, and that way the rice will be done at the same time as your chicken. Now this meal has two main ingredients, and that is Masaman curry paste and coconut milk. We buy the Masaman curry paste in a big tub, and then we separate it into 50 gram uh, packets with these little plastic bags and keep them in the freezer. So whenever we're ready to make this meal, we just pull one out and use it. And by the way, for those of you that don't have an Asian market in your city, I put links for some of these ingredients in the description below. The second main ingredient is Chow Ko coconut milk. And this is a product that comes from Thailand. The other ingredients are one onion, a medium sized potato, chicken of course. And if you don't wanna put chicken, you can make it with beef or pork. And then to season it, you're going to use fish sauce, tamarind paste, sugar, peanuts, and a little bit of peanut butter. Let's get started. Before we start cooking, I like to prep the food a little bit. And so you wanna cut the chicken into smaller pieces. Chop your onion into big pieces. Before you open up the coconut milk, make sure you shake it. and pour about one measuring cup full out of it. Dilute the rest of the coconut milk by filling up your can with water. I didn't mention this earlier, but when you heat up your pan, you wanna add about three tablespoons of oil. And today we're gonna to use ghee. Once that's melted, go ahead and add your curry paste and stir it. As you can see, the paste absorbs the oil. Now that it's mixed, add your one cup of coconut milk. Keep stirring it until it's mixed well. And make sure it's on medium heat so you don't burn it. I wish you were standing next to me right now because it smells amazing. Now that it's come to a boil, add your chicken and mix it, and you may even want to turn it down to medium low. Next, add your onions and your potatoes. And once you've got that all coated well, you want to add the rest of your coconut milk diluted with water. Turn it back up to medium, cover it, and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Now that we've cooked it for 15 minutes, we've got to season it. One teaspoon of tamarind paste. One tablespoon of fish sauce. One tablespoon of sugar. Three tablespoons of roasted peanuts. And one teaspoon of peanut butter. Make sure you mix the peanut butter really well. However thick you want the sauce to be is up to you. If you want it thicker, then just boil off some of the liquid. And if you want it thinner, then it's pretty much good as it is. For us, it's just right. All right, let's try it. It's delicious. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you like this video, be sure to share it with your friends. See you.